Okay, this is part three to the DIY do-it-yourself shower curtain and regular curtain um, do-it-yourself look. Now, I added the shag rug, which is the teal blue. Um, I also added the black. I didn't get the look that I was looking for with the black, so I decided to go with the teal. Now, I'm going to show you how I'm going to incorporate the orange, which is in this picture. Now, this was already in the bathroom. I'm just changing a few things in here um, just to enhance the bathroom a little bit more. So the colors that we have in the picture, it looks kind of red from here, but it's actually orange, green, and black. Well, teal. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to incorporate this piece right here from Ross. This is $20. This is a flower piece. I'm using it because it has the gold and the orange in it, which I'm trying to incorporate from this picture. Now, you don't have to use... Ross if you don't want to. This was $19.99. Um, and instead of me hanging on the wall, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. You can get something cheaper or, you know, whichever you prefer. This is the look I'm going for, though. Hold on. So, how we're going to incorporate our flower picture is normally you would do a nail here, hang it on whichever part of the restroom that you want to do it on. So, I'm going to incorporate mine by simply adding it as a piece to my shower rod so what i did in the back instead of a nail i have an actual hanging wire so i looped it through this hole here and i still have the tag on it and that's because <laughs> anyone that knows me knows i keep tags on stuff because sometimes i end up changing my mind i'm visual so i have to look at it for a while before i can truly make a decision of like oh this is what i really want to do so that's why the tag is there but it won't be that long guys so just as you can see here i'm taking the hanger and i simply twisted it behind the wire so that i can make sure that this is truly a secure piece here so twisted it a couple of times behind each side. Now I'm going to loop it there and then I'm just going to take the rest of my pieces and simply twirl it around here. This way we can ensure that this piece will not fall. And now I'm going to stop so I can go a little faster. Okay, so what I'm going to show you here is basically I'm already done with wiring it up there. That's the look how it looks right now. So if we want to cover the wire strings here, you just pull your curtain over like that. And it's covered. So now you have a closed look, no wire showing, and it actually looks like sort of an art piece. So let me stop so I can fix the curtain. Okay, so now this right here is already a finished product of the towel because I kind of like to play with my stuff first and see what kind of design I'm going to come up with. So I already have this one that I've done. So that I can go back and look at it and show you the actual long way or the version of, of trying to do this too. So how I got this look is I simply fold your towel into half like this. Okay. Make sure both sides are folded into half. Let me take the tag off because like I said, I like to keep tags in case. I changed my mind on something. So, this is a brand new towel, also. Okay, I'm off of that. Now, once again, these towels are basic towels. They came from Ross, six ninety nine. So you take your towel and fold it in half. This is your towel bar here. Once I fold it in half, I make sure that all my sides are equal. So it's half on the front, half on the back. So what I did was I take each 
beginning and beginning. And I do a midway drop like this. Okay. Not really the midway, it's just a partial drop. And just before this crease here is where I fold it down like this. And once I fold it down like that, I do my grab here in the middle. And from that, I kind of can grab it here. And then I kind of just let it down a little bit for the back. So like this. So it's still kind of a pouch where you can actually put something in. You still have a little bit of room. So once again, let me do it again and make sure it's even. Grab this. And I bring this up. here it's almost like it does a, a double fold like this and I simply squeeze it in the middle tuck the tag underneath here and then I adjust like that so what I did was I brought the back up the bottom up Make sure that that bottom one hangs a little bit lower so you have a longer flap at the bottom and a shorter flap at the top. Then you hold it in to squeeze for the design that you want. And now I'm going to actually safety pin a lot of it so it'll stay at my desired look. So. So actually what I'm going to do here is I take a safety pin and I poke it through the front and I make sure it goes all the way through to all four sides and that's what's going to hold these two top flaps up against this one. Then I'm going to repeat it on this side to get the same desired look. And on this side, we will take it the same way here. Make sure you push it through without killing yourself and you're using the safety pin to hold your front and your back so you put it through each section one flap the second flap and the inner flap same thing for this side first flap second flap and i didn't go through the inner so i'm going to reposition that to go through the also the enter, which is this one here. So we went through the first flap, went through our second, and now there is the inner flap. So now this will make it easier for you to create the design that you actually want to create, which is us pulling in the towels together now we have our rope so you want to make sure that you have two safety pins on deck so I'm going to squeeze the towel so that we have the same look as we have over here so all you do 
since it's already pre-pinned, you take your hand and you squeeze them in like this. So from that, I take my tie and I put it to where you desire to put it. I preferably want to put it above the actual lining of the towel design. So I put it there and I tighten it like this. So I tighten it once and what I do from there is I apply a second tie in the back like this and how we're going to avoid seeing any of this tile or towel sorry is we are going to take those excess safety pins that we have and we're going to pin your ties together like this. So now you just kind of dress it up to where you want it. So for me, I'm trying to hide this tag here, which it can be cut off. So now for the second look, which is you can go for the extended fold in the inside look, or you can go for this look, which is similar but you actually leave the, the backing out. So what I'm going to do so that I can match this side is I'm going to take my extra safety pin. So you'll need two for that. And I'm going to take the back and simply pull your left and your right in together like this. Take my safety pin, show you on this side because it's probably a little easier. And I'm going to stick my pin through there. And I'm going to take a section in the very back and also stick it through there. And clamp. Same thing for this side. Pull it back. Take my safety pin just like I did on the other side. No, you can't see it, it's kind of hard to see, but, and pin it there. So now we have brought in both of our inner folds and we have the same towel design for each side. Now, if you want to bring in extra color, I'll show you how to do that next. 